This is a video to demonstrate the technique of double bed, short row, and tarja. Uh, what you see on the screen now is a sample as it looks when it comes off the machine. This is what it looks like when you block it. This one has a boo-boo in the middle of it, but the, this is how it looks if you block it. And this is the yarn I'm going to be using. It's the same yarn as this, and it's an acrylic. And... I would say a DK weight or a sport weight. So that's what we're going to use. I'm working on my Brother 260E uh, main bed and river. It's a bulky nine millimeter gauge. You can do this on any machine. I'm using a one by one rib setup today, but again, you could do it in full needle rib on any gauge machine. It's just going to be easier to see if this is the setup we use. Hang on. I have needles uh, left 21 to right 22 on the main bed, left 20 to right 21 on the river bed. So my end needles are on the main bed. And I'm going to just go on and do um, the cast on because it's never a bad idea to be reminded, especially if you don't use your river very much. So I'm going to do my zigzag row. I've got both my carriage tensions set at zero and everything is set for plain knitting. So I'm going to do my zigzag row. So I've got my river comb hung. I'm going to disappear down here for a sec and hang three of the big one pound weights. One in the center and one approximately at the end of the work on either side. So you got plenty of weight. Then you're gonna set your carriages to knit circularly so that you're knitting one row on the main bed and one row on the river, one after the other. And on the brother, that's one part button on the right and the left part button on the main carriage. And I'm going to knit three rows. One, two, three, and then you're going to set everything for plain knitting again. So undo those things and you do an, an, one more zigzag row. Now I'm going to put my tension up to my on one on both carriages. So we've done our cast on, hung the cast on comb, got weights, zigzag row, et cetera, all that. We're ready, now we're ready to begin the process of decreasing. We'll start on the left end of the bed and move all the way to the right end of the work. And I'm gonna do an automatic wrap. Um, a manual wrap is much harder if you're working on a double bed because you've got your gate pegs and your needles and everything in the way. So it's much easier to do the automatic wrap but it just is a little more remembering. So I'm gonna add, also your carriage needs to be set in hold. There's the, there's this lever on the brother that you push to H that will hold any needles that are uh, pushed all the way out. And then on the river carriage, the levers on the side come down to one. So I'm gonna push this far left needle out and knit across. And then I'm gonna, well, not you. <laughs> I'm gonna push this far left needle on the river out of work and you'll see when it knits back that it'll wrap itself. And so you won't get a hole in your work right there. So you just continue like this. Across the bed. Um, of course, this is something where you're gonna have to monitor your weight very carefully because uh, you're short rowing and so the shape is changing. It's not even all the way across. So after probably another couple of passes, I'm gonna take out the cast on comb and hang some weights on the work itself. Also, I am using my fine knit bar which I just tend to use if I'm doing any kind of 
double bed work because things just knit off better. So I'm going to disappear, or well, at least partially. I'm taking my big weights off and I'm going to pull out the cast on comb. <coughs> And I've got various items. A longer um, hanger like this is actually great for this because you're having to get up in between the beds. Whereas if you're working on a single bed, you can see the work and it's easy to move your weights around. But something a little longer like this will help you get up in there a little better. So I'm going to hang one of these guys and these are the little I don't know if these are half pound but the little river weights so get one on the end there not you and then we'll shoot for about the middle of what I still have in work so about right here and then this guy in here like that so then you just keep working across the bed one needle at a time at a work at a time and I probably need to get in here and move this guy <laughs> get a little tricky so you're gonna want to use uh, yarn you might not mind messing up while you get a grip on this technique because you may tear your yarn with your weights uh, and when you're pushing your needle out of work that that needle is going to stay on the or that that loop's going to stay on the needle as you lift it so I was especially on the river pull down a little bit I'm going to check my weight one more time under here By now everything is hanging at kind of an angle because what we're doing is knitting a triangle. I'm not positive, so we're just going to back the carriage up. Put everything in, um, put all your part buttons in and then you should just be able to get a free pass. Oh, wait, no, I know. Okay. Got it. So take everything. Everything back. Just lost track of what I was doing. extra sure that everything's knitting off because right at this corner it gets a little tricky and I've had some dropped stitches 
And then you're just gonna put this last needle in hold and break your yarn.